YouTube, salary cap. This is why you watch. This is why you click play. This is a game actually against a kid that was 14 years old. You can tell by his gamer tag, Hayden Lego World. So he must his mom must have made him this gamer tag when he was eight years old, nine year old, something like that. And uh, I've never seen this gamer tag before. I've never played it. So most of the time when you see a, a gamer tag like this, you just relax, you're chilling. I don't know if this was uh, weekend league. Oh no, it was salary cap. This was on the salary cap leaderboards. And um. So I'm playing this kid. Really don't know much about him this first time I played him. If you want to watch any of these games live, man, my Twitch link is below. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. So if you haven't checked out any games live, make sure you go ahead and hit that link and you put the notification button on so you guys know when I'm going live. And right there, he went live to Vernon Davis. Jamal Adams could have probably got a pick, but he kind of jumped in front of him a little bit. And Vernon Davis came up with that big play. That's why you like that speed at tight end here. I swear he was throwing a pick, but the game let him throw the ball away. Run a little 3 through 5 When I get down here, he hits me with this crazy crossing route. I believe it's a route cam. He flipped it. Uh, had Calvin Johnson going to the corner of the end zone. High balled me. Scored a touchdown the first drive. So that's a play I got to look out for the rest of the day. Randy Moss over the middle first drive. You guys know I like to get the Randy Moss man involved. Best receiver in the game. There's no question about it. That three rack, a lot of people do this out of three through five, man. They take that blitz and nickel back and they put him in a three rack, man. Any offense, defense you see here, check out our man turf. Link is below. Sack right there by Joey Bosa. A lot of people love Joey Bosa. I haven't used him this year. Um, I, I've been sticking with Khalil Mack in this. Miles Garrett's been dominating for me. Dominating is what Julio Jones does. I have Julio Jones, Randy Moss, and Calvin Johnson. And Vernon Davis, a tight end, man. So we'll definitely have the, the weapons out here as I try to loft one up to Moss. Realized he didn't get a step. Had to click Y there to try to knock the ball away, essentially go for an aggressive catch. Second and 10. Really late on his read. I was really late on a couple reads this game. Really trying to get some bigger plays and not taking my check downs. Here we go. Another one over the middle right there. Like I said, Julio Jones dominates. That's what he does. First and goal on the four-yard line. Corner route, Vic overthrows it. And that's one where he's wide open. I don't need to high ball it, but we just become so robotic with high ball passes. And right here, Michael Vick is a robot. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown ties the game up. Feeling good. Can't give up that bomb play again to Vernon Davis and Gatto. Watch that corner route to Calvin in the end zone. Those are the two things I picked up on his first drive. Trips tight end, man. If you guys have been playing man in all this year, you guys have been playing against trips tight end. One of the better offenses. Really tough to guard all the crossing routes if they mix in their, their proper checkdowns. Here goes running the ball. Brian Dawkins. 36 cap Brian Dawkins, man. He's just been an animal for me. There's that crossing route right, right there. Fuller. I felt like Fuller could have jumped down on that, but I really just uh, I held why he didn't go get it like I wanted him to. Pause. All this stuff I'm saying. Corner route right over here. He's dotting me up really good right now. Calvin Johnson again. Inside the 20-yard line, man. First and 10 on the 15-yard line. Throws that corner route again. Does not get his feet, and I fell asleep. I told you guys I had to worry about that corner route. Let it happen again. Cam Bam Chancellor wrapping up in the box. Third and five on the 10-yard line. He hits this cool curl route, something I've been doing all year. Did not expect that. Low ball touchdown. Jerry Rice, I believe, man. So two drives, two touchdowns for this 14-year-old little kid. Hayden's Lego world is mad in this easy where 14-year-olds can win. I don't think so, but he's doing a good job right now. Uh, then I get hit right there. Was going to hit the crossing route, but it looks like Ed Reed was his linebacker that got to me. Third and five. Step up in the pocket. Navigate. Find the open man, Vernon Davis, underneath. Take a hit stick, but all we wanted was the first down. First and 10, I'm on a 41-yard line. Roll out, four verticals. Just use Vic's wheels right here just to get a, a nice little four-yard gain. Don't take a negative. Try to sneak in a four verts, catch him sleeping. Here we're going to catch him sleeping, but he catches me sleeping. Gets the crazy animation with Eddie Jackson at linebacker. Manned up on Randy Moss. I turned the ball over. Down seven, turned the ball over, and his Vernon Davis is fighting. So I just got to hold him here. I only have one timeout left. I don't know what I use my timeouts on. He goes with the crossing route. Sean Taylor, bam, bam, cam with the tip pick. That's how you get physical. That's what I've been telling you guys all year, man. We want to get physical. Randy Moss, crossing route, rack egg, man. The rack eggs are huge this year, but at the end of the day, man, they really do have that little step right there. 
just like this, just and he drops that one. But most rack eggs are they just are, really are just a perfect throw where these wide receivers really do have the step, and you just that's that's the animation they give you when you have a step. It's not like they're super covered when you get rack rack egged. Here we go. That time I could not hold the pocket right there. Melvin Ingram got to me. 49 seconds. I have no timeouts anymore, but plenty of time. Going to hit this crossing route right here. Hold aggressive catch. Come back to the ball. Calvin Johnson, seven-yard line, man. Time's running, though. Can't really run. Going underneath the Vernon Davis. We get out of bounds. Pick up a cool four. Second and goal on the three. What am I looking for? The drag route to Megatron Johnson. Catching traffic. Big-time play to tie the game up before the half. 24 seconds left. He has all three timeouts, so I really I really got to be careful. I don't give up anything big right here. Pause. He throws the corner route. And Cam Chancellor broke on the ball, but you got to knock that out of his hands. First and 10. We just can't give up this crossing route. Can't give up the crossing route. He goes for it. Oh, overthrown. I think I bumped his receiver just a tad. 12 seconds left. He has two timeouts. Throws the wheel route to the running back. Make a tackle. We get him down here at the 42-yard line. He has one timeout left. He tries to run just to pick up some yards. He picks up three. Calls the timeout. Still not enough to kick that field goal. So he's going to go up top. He has the seam up the middle, but Cam, click on, get in front of him. Kyle Fuller actually picks it off, man. Cam's really had played a good game for me. He's really been good at deep blue zone. People say he's slow, and yeah, of course he's a little bit slow, but he's definitely playing well for me. Tie game, man. The kid really came out, hit some big plays. Caught a couple touchdowns to Calvin Johnson that I really have to pay attention to. But it's 14-14. I still have the game uh, in my hands. Just got to go down here and score some points. First play, I love the play action against these block shed defenses. As you guys see, I have all day right here. And I know that this post route will stop and eventually come right back to me. And it doesn't matter what you do. My receiver will beat the defenders to the ball every time. Once again, this time he tries to send pressure. You got to know, man, when you have one of those plays in the pocket where you have all day... Your opponent naturally is going to think, man, I got some pressure. I was pissed at how much time he just had. Michael Vick creating time, rolling out. Calvin can't get my feet in. I went for a rack catch there or just to get away from the defenders. I should have went aggressive catch to come back to the ball. Y is pretty much the only button that works when it comes to catching the ball. As we see right here, really late on my reads on third and six. Knocks the ball away and forces me to kick a field goal. It's okay. I mean, this, it sucks getting a field goal, but there's a lot of John Madden left to be played in this game. Uh, so I got to get the points, got to take care of that possession. Cam coming up, making a tackle along with Marlon Humphrey, who is my slot receiver. Corner route, overthrow, can't get his feet in. We got Fuller over there. We got Eddie Jackson over there. Third down, he runs, gets to a fourth down. And, man, when people don't get a third down, they are going to know how to on fourth down. He's in a little tray open or something a little bit different here. So I'm not sure what I expect, but I have two zones in the same spot. Runs a little PAY receiver in catches me and I give up the drag but I mean I didn't stop him on fourth down but I did not give up a big play a lot of times on fourth down people take a lot of chances and give up a big play right here I'm not giving <laughs> taking a chance but I give up a big play anyway to rent to Jerry Rice that time I'm telling you man this 25 cat miles Garrett is really a horse here he comes again right after the quarterback knocks the ball away this I'm telling you miles Garrett is a little bit different there YouTube Throws it underneath here to um, Vernon Davis. Kyle Fuller comes up, makes the tackle. Got him on a fourth down. He ties the game up. Now I have the game in my hands. Tie game, ball in the fourth quarter. This is all you can want as a player. Dot over the top of Eddie Jackson right there to Randy Moss. Next play, we're going to go for the Baja. This is why we pay so much cat for a tight end. So you can burn him down the middle. There we go with the rack egg, man. This is a rack egg, but he definitely had a step. Tie the game up. Vernon Davis right down the seam. 24-17, we got the lead. All we got to do is hold him out of the end zone. I feel great when all I got to do is hold my opponent out of the end zone. It's hard to score touchdowns in John Madden football. Just play basic, no big plays. Drag right there. Brian Dawkins almost knocks it away, almost gets his hand on the football. A second and 10, late on his read to the flat. Out of bounds, cannot keep his feet in. Underneath, Jalen Ramsey swarms. Sean Taylor swarms. Jamal Adams comes in and puts a hand on him. Like I said, third down, these kids are always going to no huddle. And when it's a kid, when it's a 13-year-old, you know he's going to no huddle. Once again, man, I'm, I'm up seven. I don't have to give up a big play right here. I don't have to do anything crazy. Play really basic right here. He throws a low ball before the corner route breaks. Vernon Davis holds on to it. First and 10. And somehow we give up another big play over here. Just messing my corner up. I, it just... Ah, I'm pissed when I give up big plays. Another big play. That time my use was just too slow. This Calvin Johnson is killing me. 
toss on the first play. I hate toss on on first down because he just lost two yards. He wants him from first and going to one to second and going to three. Runs the ball again. Blown up. Hits me with a no huddle. He's in bunch right here. I'm expecting base. And if people aren't going to run base, the only pass plays they have down here are uh, hitches, high hitches, high curls. So I make sure that I have a bunch of yellow zones, vert hooks, and I put my free set. Most of the time I put my safeties in quarters in the middle of the field. I'm using Cam just for the run. He has nobody though. So you see how many yellow zones I have out here. Just swarming. Send the spy, tackle him. Fourth and goal. He goes for the similar thing. All curl routes. High ball. Cam Chancellor says, get that out of here. Turns the ball over on downs. He wasted one time out before I even ran a play. And this is something that obviously you kind of want the first down, but not really in this situation. A second and one is better than a first and ten because one, I can use 30 seconds here. And then I can use 30 seconds. Hopefully, I get an easy play or easy two plays where I can get the first down. So, I'm going to run 30 seconds off the clock here uh, because he has not called his timeouts, man. Me, personally, I call my timeouts right away in these situations. But I did save him some time by snapping a ball with nine seconds. Uh, and that will come back to play a little bit. But so now he's not going to call his timeout now. So now we're going to run another 30 seconds off the clock. I have 26 cap Joe Mixon. So if you guys looked, I did put it on conservative ball carrier because with the, him only having two timeouts, the clock running, the only way I lose this game is if I fumble. So I'm definitely on conservative ball carrier. This is easy calls right here. I'm going to go ahead and just take this all the way down to one second, run the ball, and force him to use these timeouts. That's pretty much what I have to do. Uh, the main thing I can't have here is any type of incomplete pass. So I'm going to keep the ball on the ground. Boom. So we get here to a pick up a nice chunk right there. Get to a, a second and four. I pass the ball. Nobody's really open. I'm just going to go ahead and bite it. Take the sack. Pause. Uh, he calls his timeout. Third and 15. I'm run another pass play. There's 38 seconds left. I'm just going to run with Vic. Nobody's open. I will not throw the ball away. Slide. And just slide. A lot of people ask me this all the time. How do you slide like that with the quarterback? When you're running, hold both triggers and click in the right stick. That way I keep the clock running and the game is over. Now, it's going to be one second left, but I would just punt it out of bounds. Or you could even run a play. You could run quarterback sneak. You could run spike. You could run anything if there's one second left. But like I said, to give up, you give yourself up with the quarterback like that, hold both triggers and click in the right stick, man. That way you keep the clock running and you end the game. But this little 14-year-old had a lot of fight. If you're running trips tight end, man, if, like you said, anybody can pretty much be good with trips tight end if you mix in your plays the right way, man. He played a good game. Shout out to the young kid. I hope he keeps playing Madden. And, and this lets you guys know, man, any of you guys that want to play Madden it, is possible because if you see a little 14-year-old kid out here giving me hell games, I mean, one, I'm probably washed up, or two, anybody can pretty much compete in Madden, man, if you really put your mind to it and you really uh, test yourself. And right here, Six seconds left. No matter what, this ball has to be out of the field of play. Out of bounds all the way. And that's what I do. Make sure I kick it to the coaches. Game is over. GG's in the chat for the young kids. So there's no reason why you guys can't be grinding, man. Please hit that like button. Please sub, man. Turn that bell on for these notifications.